Hey everyone, it's Delta. Welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series called The Sky City. So I'm in my uh, Great Hall. Um, in the meantime, between videos, I dropped the level down even further. Uh, all done by Pick. I haven't used any TNT yet, however, I've got some more now. I'm, I was just too afraid that when detonating the uh, TNT that I may destroy some of the roof, mainly the glowstone. It's a bit of pain to get, so I uh, left it for now, but... We have some uh, nice views showing up over here. The uh, it's great that the sunset, sun rises, sorry, and the moon rises from that over there. So it's going to have some good views once it's all done. Um, and I'm yeah, I'm just going to get hand by hand and whatnot. Um, I've already I'm on my next layer that I've started, so we've already hit the top of the roof of the other bottom layer down there. So. Won't be too long, I think. A couple more levels. Some lighting. A couple more levels, and then we will be um, just working on the ground from then on. So, I thought now would be a great time to use some TNT just to muck around a bit. There's some nice dirt patch over here which should grow up in the bank quite well. However, I don't want to destroy anything decent, so. I'm going to see if I can place it in there. And run. Wow, that's going to save me tons of time. Look at that. Is that cave down there? We have a cave system, I don't even know. That's fantastic. And we have a cave system as well. That could, that, that, this could be used quite well. That could be used as like a tunnel entrance out or in. I never knew about this cave right here. Oh well, we always learn, so... <laughs> More TNT, I guess, will be used. Um, we might muck around with it now while we're on camera. Um, did some more enchanting um, with my new picks as well. I've got Unbreaking 3 and Silk Touch. And while I was enchanting, I came across a little bug, which I'll show you right now, actually. So, let's just play Minecraft, um, doing some enchant enchantments on my tools. And um, I managed to go through the glass. Literally, I was standing on top of the glass and all of a sudden I went, I went straight through it and now I'm in the water. The I can't actually get out, which is the frustrating part. Um, spiders, they can't attack me, which is good. But now I'm backing out my system. So I am not sure how to get out of here. I'm probably going to have to break this glass. And now they can attack me. It's really strange, I don't know. <laughs> I was literally just standing on top of the glass like this, and all of a sudden went poof, straight through it. So, that's really strange. Just wanted to video have it and record it for you. Um, I guess back to more enchanting. So, it was, a, it was a quite a strange bug. Um, now that we're back, we're, we can do some more TNT explosions, I guess, and the lightning's just going crazy. Just want to grab these blocks over here. And the maze is an <laughs> actual tunnel in my base. I don't even know about it. I would have dug not close to it. See, I, I dug on the other side of here. So literally, it's right here. I, know, I never even knew about it. See, look at that. Dug three more blocks in and I would have found a tunnel. So it's going quite well. So I guess we'll set up some more TNT and we'll uh, get to ex some explosions. Okay, so I've just set up some uh, minor explosions. I wasn't too sure how TNT acts. I've forgotten how TNT will act and how far it will go. So I've just got some uh, little explosions that will set up now and hopefully it will work well. I, that's, this is my last of my TNT already by the way guys. So I'll have to do the rest by hand but this is just purely for fun. So. That's a pity it didn't blow up that other one. So we'll have to do this by hand. Hopefully these will go off now. Woo. That's pretty big, so um I've got that much more to dig down to the ground, so it's a couple more layers. I'll get there eventually, nice and slowly. It's a lot of work, but I'm just listening to some of my music and then pretty much just going through and uh taking all these levels every now and then, so 
I guess I'll be back to taking it some more levels. We might do some other things in this episode besides this hole, as I uh, do the laborious task of just taking out and uh, slowly mining away these levels. I might have to go get some more pickaxe soon as well. So we'll get on to some new tasks. Okay, I set up another round of TNT. Um, I had some trouble before with the spacing, and I still, like, I had them this close together and they still weren't going off, so I'm not too sure what's to go with that, but I've got, I think, eight or nine more TNT, which I'll explode right now. See? They're that close together and they still don't explode. So, I'm not too sure why. I might have to do it all manually. I'll take off these caps, see if that helps. Then I'll explode this one over here. See if it does anything now. No, it's still there. I don't know why it's doing this, but it's quite frustrating. Look, literally, this should be out of exploit now. No? Okay. This should be out of exploit. You would think this would explode. Hey, I was beginning to think that, uh, TNT wouldn't chain react anymore for some reason, I don't know why. But it's definitely gonna help me mine out some of this all the stuff. Um I've still got a bit more bit more to do, so we're gonna be uh, at this for a bit a lot less now because of thanks to TNT. I have to go along all these walls and do the the uh sandstone and then I have to add more lighting in here, as you can see it's a bit dark already. So more lighting will be added eventually um, and I have to start my plans for the dance hall, the, not the dance hall but the floor itself for the hall. Um, I have all the plans of my head so <laughs> I'll have to see how they look and see how they, uh, they interact with each other so I'll be back hopefully with more done. Okay we are back and a lot more is done and I mean a lot more by this Ta-da! It's all done, pretty much. The reason why it's a big skip is because I had some technical issues um, with my microphone not working, and so the few days there where I couldn't do any recording, so I just decided to go ahead and do most of it. Um, still a bit more to do, um, including the floor. I went and filled it all with half in a, in a grid pattern with a sandstone checker pattern. Um, now, what I want to do is fill it in with something, and I'm not too sure what. Um, I've got some designs over here with way wood. Um, we've got some wool. I'm thinking even a uh, black wool. Maybe we've got leaves. Um, I'm not too sure I like any of those at all. Um, but over here, um, I like some of the stuff. I like this nether brick quite a lot. And I like the glowstone. So if you have any more suggestions, please tell me. Because um, right now I'm a bit stumped. But I think I know what I want to do. I think roughly I want to use some nether brick. Highlighted with some glowstone, as you can see, it's quite dark in here. Um, and if I take the torches away, it'll even get even further dark. So, um, so I need some sort of glowstone in the floor or in the walls, even. So I'll be using it somewhere along the turn, along the lines of uh, further along. So definitely need more glowstone, as you can see, it's quite dark. Um, but yeah, so a fair amount has been done. So what I'm going to do is just leave this floor um, for today. Um, and hopefully you guys can help me out um, in letting me know what's best. So just give us a yell, comment in the section below what you prefer. Like I said, most likely, unless you convince me otherwise, or show me other great plans, which I'm more than happy to. I will be going with uh, some uh, nether, uh, not nether, nether brick, sorry, um, and glowstone. I recently went to the nether and um, found another fortress, and I found where the ends kind of came off and they kind of went off all funny. So I just not mind the bricks that are all funny away and 
made it look all nice and pretty. And in the end, I got enough probably bricks to do half the thing, so I'll have to go back and get more. But as you can see, it's quite squarish now. It's quite um quite boring. So I have my plans to do my staircases and my balconies going to long, run along the whole side. So about halfway up, it's going to be these massive balconies that come down to a massive double staircase and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so um, I made it all symmetrical with the the ends and whatnot with the uh, wood and and now we're going to have some rooms at the back here for different farms and whatnot coming very soon. Um, so today I think we'll be finishing off some other items so this is going to be more of a finishing off episode again. I have so many ongoing things I really need to finish off and I should never have even got around to it. So one of the things is to finish off this wall system that I've got going. Um, I've done one layer, so this layer here, um, and I'm going to do the, the rest of the layers. Also, I've got to change up the floors, so alternate, the floors will alternate from sandstone to wood, so this one will be wood above us, sandstone, and below us will be wood again, whatnot. So I think what I might start to do is um, get rid of the ceiling here, make it all wood nice and pretty, and then we'll start working on the other floor. So let me just mine this out, and then we'll be back. Okay, we are back. So it looks much better now, the transition between uh, each area is much better than the cobblestone. Um, so it's looking quite good. I've got all the bookshelves to do. I want a table to go here so we can look outside nice and lovely. So the bookshelves over here, um, some more over here we'll have to put in. I think I've got enough wood and reed now. I went and grabbed a couple more stacks of wood just outside. Um, so I should have enough in terms of the bookshelves. They're looking quite good. Um, I've got stacks of wool now. Um, due to my XP farm, I just, uh, spiders give off a whole bunch of string. So I've got um, a whole bunch more string and whatnot. So I've got areas up here to do as well. Um, and each flooring and decking needs to be done with bookshelves and whatnot. I still do these balconies outside and whatnot over here. Um, so there's a fair bit of work to do. And it's, it's, the library's been a massive ongoing job for me and I haven't really completed and I'd like to just kind of get out of the way and complete it for once and for all. Um, so it was mainly waiting on a couple of things and then I kind of skipped ahead and did the haul first but um, it was looking quite good. So what I'm going to be doing now for my wool, I've got much more wool than this. I've got multiple lines of uh, wool down in my XP farm. So what I'll be doing is converting that into the appropriate dyes and whatnot for the library. Um, and yeah, so um, so I'll be grabbing some dyes, grabbing some wool, and I guess we'll start on the next layer above and work our way up, and then we'll work our way down once we're done with the, up, the old upstairs and whatnot. So we'll be back with more wool, I guess. Okay, so I'm just out on the um, on the edge of the platform. Um, the best way to do it, I guess, is to break the glass and go through. I have myself a special pick, silk touch, and I'm breaking, and what this allows me to do is to break the glass without actually um, breaking it. So it's really pain in the ass, so what I might have to do is actually make a platform just a bit below it. And this has to go all the way around. It's going to have a lot of dirt platforms going around my library. Um, <laughs> just so I can uh, get to my glass. Wrong pickaxe. That would help. Okay, so the, the dial will go in like this. And the platform will go all the way around as such. So I might as well just make the platform first. That's right, I broke a bit of glass down here by accident. So we'll replace that glass. So let me just test this out this again. So the pickaxe, silk touch pickaxes break the glass without actually breaking it, which is fantastic. So I can reuse the glass. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do the um, green, I guess, and we'll go ahead and move our way up. So we'll keep it going. So it's much better. The reason why I'm doing this, by the way, if you haven't seen, it's black along the edge, and I wanted to have some color from the outside so I'm actually adding a an additional ring. Um, I'm still not yet decided if I want to keep the ring inside because I got one going inside but for now it's going to be kept and and then again the outside ring will be placed down so it's not too hard to do and just the time consuming part of having to put platforms all the way up so I can um, actually reach the, uh, the glass itself so yeah so we'll skip ahead just a, a bit and uh, we'll see what's to go. Okay, so we just skipped ahead, did the top floors from yellow onwards, so it looks so much better, the fact that it's so black against it. Um, again, it does look a bit jarring 
to begin with, we're having colours of wool and whatnot. So, um, it's the most ugliest thing right now because of all the dirt blocks. So, I might go ahead and get rid of those and we'll start working on the difficult parts, which are down below, um, which are going to be the red and the uh, orange. So, I saved a fair bit of glass. Um, it's a couple of stacks already. Um, and I managed to stick my keys about three times on the ledges and which ultimately made me fall off and kill myself, but no loss, no loss. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of the dirt, um, work our way down, and then I guess we'll start working on the orange and red. So once that's done, hopefully it'll look really cool, and um, and we'll have to do it. I'm thinking about getting rid of this iron, by the way, over here. It's just, just in the way. Um, it's not hard to do. I probably could do it quite easily, so I'll eventually do that when I get some time. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Ta-da! All done. It was quite nice, quite pretty, uh, <laughs> quite vibrant, overdone, I guess. But uh, it looks, it'll go well. Um, so inside's going to be all wooden and sandstone as we have here. Um, it's going to take a lot of more sandstone and a lot more wood as well. Um, I should have enough sandstone. I think I might have to get more, maybe, because I had tons up left over from here. I thought I'd need more, but I underestimated it. So, um, we just put away some of my wool supplies. So it's, it's so easy now that my um, chests are all organized. Um, so it's quite handy to have this. So, I wanted to show you um, how much cobblestone was actually mined out of here because pretty much this is all was cobblestone. Um, some dirt was in there and some uh, gravel that is. But um, there was so much cobblestone that I had to fill all these chests including here so I had to get rid of the stone stuff in there um, and then I have another chest over here I'm not sure if I've got anything more I have some stuff over here let me go over here and I got more um, so a whole lot of it was destroyed with TNT and whatnot um, and I just left some of it on the ground but so a whole lot was used and a whole lot more will probably be uh, taken out sorry um, with my underwater project as well, because I got my underwater project down there. Big plans for that, it's just taking ages, so yeah. Um, where the glass meets over here, so you can see it's dark again. I want to remove that slice there as well, so it just gets a nice clean edge onto it, so it looks quite nice. But I really do like the open um, area that I have here. It works quite well in terms of actually showing off some of the landscape around here and it just happened by mistake that I um, tapped into that so that's quite good so um, our library is getting nearly done so I've got my wool highlights done I've now just got to fill up the floors and I've got um, some books cases I think I made over here and I'm simply just going to be placing them down roughly where the dirt is and the stone over there is on top will be caps with um, Glowstone, as we have here, and it's really aesthetic touches. This really does not have any functional purpose, but um, just having a nice little uh, area itself. So this is probably one of my biggest uh, useless use of supplies that I don't really use for a function, because uh, um, the Great Hall will um, be used for farms and whatnot. Really, this is really just an aesthetic touch that we can walk through and whatnot. So, I guess I could um, try finishing off this level, have a complete level done, um, see how it looks, and we can probably move on to the next levels. Um, so, we'll be back. First level is pretty much done. Um, just <laughs> didn't have enough. I need two more um, glowstone to finish it off. So. It looks quite nice. I like the um. It looks um. If you set at a certain angle, it looks really weird and like kind of maze-like, which I was going towards that idea, and I really like it. It looks a bit odd. Um, it's okay with me. I, I really don't mind it. I quite like the uh, the bookshelf stack like this with glowstone. It gives it some light within here. Um, still concerned about mob spawning in here. So if I turn it down, it's moody. There's possibly a chance I could spawn right here. Um, I'd like to test that though and um, see what we can do. If not, we can just add a pillar or so with some glowstone on it. Wouldn't be too hard to do. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. Got a little um, seating area. Area, sorry. Um, and yeah, so we said two more glowstone. 
And that's it, so we've done this whole area. Um, some of you probably still remember this place down the back here. I'll just quickly show you if people who don't. Um, it's like a little secret area that I plan to use eventually. Right now I've just got chests with books in it. So um, I'll be using this maybe more. Um, just as a more novelty joke because it's just myself on the server. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably be working on the, the next floors. Um, I do want to get them done pretty soon. So I might do some off, off camera. They're pretty easy to do. They use a, you use a ton of wood for... um bookshops. I didn't realise how much I did kinda of realise after making those, but all my wood that I've just cooked I cooked about three and a half stacks of uh wood logs. Um and now they're all gone already, so uh, <laughs> some of it went into the roof but the rest of it I couldn't I was just amazed. So um yeah. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um a new episode will be out very soon. Um so just don't, don't have to wait too long I guess. Um I'll be doing them more frequently hopefully. Um with some time on my hand, so um, we'll get them done eventually. So yeah, so hopefully I can get my library done in the next episode, or a couple, or a couple of episodes, so I can get it out of the way, so I can move on to some other plans. Because I wanted to kind of complete it before I start anything big. Um, as before, I had about three big projects going all at once, and it was just kind of too much. So now I've got um, just this to do. So if you could um, answer the question of what um, stone or what ground floor I should use. It with sandstone, so I've got the nether brick or something else, maybe, um, just give us a, uh, a comment and what you'd like, and yeah, so we'll do it. So, I just want to give one quick um, shout out to all my uh, subscribers that take the effort to comment on my videos when they come out. It really does help, and it really does um, get the ball rolling for the discussion and whatnot. It really, it really means a lot for me in terms of um, see the community kind of grow with the team behind Sofa Bros and whatnot, so I really quite like it, and just want to Give a thanks to you, all you guys that are uh, guys and girls that actually help and uh, start some comments and say thanks and give some feedback for the video. So um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll see you in the next episode. So Delta out for now. Bye.